Hey folks, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. The end of the year caught me unawares. I don't know how it happened because there's 365 days in every single year. The same 12 months on the same schedule. And so I don't know how it happened. But the last couple of years, what I've done is I've done like seven, eight. Uh, <laughs> in 2016, I think I did nine or 10 different uh, best of videos at the end of the year, you know, the best folding knives under $20, the best folding knives under $30, the best folding knives under $50. A huge categories I did. I'm not doing any of that this year. I'm simply going to do what I got to read it off here. So I say it the right way. The company delivering the best new budget knives in 2018. That's what I'm going to do. So which budget company or company that sells budget knives and by that my definition is under 50 us dollars uh, and unfortunately i came up with that number before i started thinking through who's going to win or anything and unfortunately that cuts out one brand that tends to start at 52 dollars sorry best tech uh, but i'm going to keep it that way the best the company delivering the best new budget knives for 2018. So knives that came out during this calendar year, which company is putting out the best new low cost knives? And the context is, you know, folding knives and fixed blade knives under 50 US dollars. And so what are the main contenders? Well, the main contenders are rake knives, Sanran new knives, What else is there that's consistently doing under $50? There's Ganzo. Well, they didn't put out a lot of new stuff this year. So it's going to be between those two. It's going to be between Rake and San Ramu. And of course, Best Tech gets a very honorable mention. And yes, I like the Civivi knives. I like the, uh, I haven't got very many of them, the Tuya knives. I got one of them that I reviewed. Uh, yes, I like... Um, What's the, I should have written down these names of these different companies. Uh, Tangram. Oh, Tangram got some good knives. They just got to go a bit. Tangram is Kaiser. Uh, Civivi is Wee Knives. Um, you know, and they're putting out a budget line even lower than Kaiser's Vanguard line. So there's a lot of good knives out there, uh, but for the company. And so let's put our camera on the tabletop mode. I don't have a lot of knives to share with you because I've sold most of what I reviewed because... This year has been very bad for me, financially speaking. Uh, I've, 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 there's light at the end of the tunnel for that uh, tax problem that I was having. Uh, some bright light at the end of the tunnel. So hopefully that gets resolved very, very soon. And so, well, let's just take a look. Is it going to be Rake Knives or is it going to be San Ren Mew? Keep watching. Uh, one other thing, I'm just injecting this into the video. I thought of this afterwards. Down below in the comments, please tell me what is the best budget knife you got this year. Share the info with us all um, and, and let us know. I've got links down below for some of these things and some of these products, especially for Knife Spot. It's an, an affiliate link. If you buy those from Knife Spot, you're helping out Canadian Cutting Edge because he's going to give me a little bit of credit back to help get more knives to review. You guys are awesome. Now, I am going to say one other thing. What is the knife that I got in 2018 that I've carried the most? The knife that I like the most, the knife that I've carried when I had totally the option to carry whatever knife I want. What knife was that? And it's on this table. Can anybody guess? There it is. This knife, the Rake Thing, the uh, P105K. This knife, I love this knife. I've been carrying this knife more than any other knife. 
Um, there was another rake knife that I really like an awful lot. And, you know, I sold it to get some money in. I just couldn't part with this one, though. This knife I've carried so very much. I really love the full flat grind. It's got a great blade shape, all belly. It's got a curve all the way through. Sharpener's toil is perfect. It's very pointy, so it's very precise if you need it to be. Uh, you know, any kind of grip that you want to do on this thing is super awesome. Uh, a thumb riser for and jimping that your hand fits in there. My hand just fits perfectly in this knife. It just feels awesome. You got a little bit extra bling on the pocket clip and, you know, the shape, blue and black. This is an awesome knife. I love, love this knife by Rake Knives. So what else do we have by Rake? I've sold most of my Rake knives. I just didn't have the, you know, like I said, I had the other issues. Here's the Hussar. I've carried this guy an awful lot too. Beautiful, beautiful knife. It's a little busy here. It's a little hard to see, right? Let's make some room here. Let's move some stuff to the side here. So yeah, I was talking about that guy, the Hussar. Oh, I got him a little bit dirty because yeah, I carry this guy a fair bit as well. Very nice, very comfortable. 14C28N on both of these knives. Um, this rake knife, I thought I was going to carry it more than I did, but uh, I do really like it. The P155W, you know, great blade shape, um, you know, sort of, you know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful knife. And yet it's very functional. I think the reason I didn't carry it very much is because I haven't done the modifications yet to make it more comfortable in hand. This corner right here, that edge needs to be rounded a bit. It just feels a little bit hot in my hands right there. And so I just need to sand that, round that off just a little bit and a little bit at the spine as well. And then it's going to be more comfortable. But beautiful, beautiful knife. Not quite a finger choil up here. Uh, I put my finger in there and I've nicked my the corner of my finger a couple times because of it. So that would be, need to be bigger if I wanted it to be a forward choil, but it's great like this as well. And sometimes I do just put the, the tip of my finger in there and uh, you know do a little bit of work that way. Beautiful knife. Uh, this rake knife, since it's between rake and San Romeo, I'll just go through the rake knives, is another one that I still have. Actually, I got another copy of it. I had this one in all satin, like just regular steel, and uh, the P108 SB. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I like this frame lock an awful lot. Very comfortable. Same pocket clip that we have over here. Well, the, the same shape. It's just that this one's, you know, the black wash and that one's satin. And so beautiful knife that way. Um, what else do we have here? I've got this guy right here. The P128SB. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I like that harpoon shape. And also very, very comfortable on hand. Uh, great user. Awesome, awesome knife. So that's some of the stuff by Rake Knives. So let's put that aside. What did San Ramu do this year? Well, they didn't do this knife this year, but this is a knife that I actually carry quite a bit. You know, being a slip joint and still it's a full-size folder, I carry this thing quite a lot. It's one of those knives that uh, it's very low risk to carry this in uh, in Canada, uh, because it's a slip joint knife, uh, you know, it's just, it's less scary than other knives are for some people. And it's a nice color, really comfortable. I reviewed the big brother of this guy, and I no longer have him, but, you know, you've seen this knife. What's the name of the bigger one? Oh, I lost my mind. Uh, the 90... Now, one of the 90 series, that whole 90 series is new knives that San Remu has come out with. And then you've got the S series of fixed blades. Uh, actually, I'm going to go get a couple of those in just a minute. Uh, here's an older one. This is the 910 Plus. This is an exclusive one with some nice colors on the handle there. Well, not colors, uh, you know, the shape and stuff. Lockup is quite late on this one, but beautiful knife. Some knives that are just a classic, the 7010, beautiful, beautiful knife in so many different variations. And I just love this knife. It's a perennial winner. Of course, 
it's you know the same knife as this knife in you know basically it's a significantly inspired by the Sabenza knives and uh, here's another one this one's just a little bit smaller than the 900 series or the 910 this was fairly new the 8103 this came out this year I think it came out this year 8CR14 and they got it in black wash as well this is also a very good size. I really, really like this size for carrying an awful lot. And so I carry this guy a fair bit. And I do love thumb studs as well. Uh, this one, as with a lot of frame locks, if I don't hold it just right, you know, put pressure on that arm there, and you're not going to be able to open the knife. And that's one of the reasons why uh, frame locks aren't loved by as many people as it could be. Uh, because it's too easy to put some pressure on the frame lock arm and then you're putting pressure on the detent and not allowing the knife to open. Here's the 9104. So, you know, those two are the same knife, just two different colors right there. And then you've got, you know, the little bit smaller one, the 8100 and the 7010. And those are, you know, great, great knives that just are winners for San Ren Mew. And they're doing very, very good. But these aren't really new for 2018. I don't think any of these are. They're, they're, they're knives that have been around for a little bit longer than that. But new for 2018, I've got these two here. And I've got more. And, uh, you know, I've sold most of them <laughs> or given some of them away, given many of them away. Um, this one's a uh, flipper or thumb stud. The thumb studs are very small, so it works much better with the flipper. And this guy works just with a flipper. It's not, uh, I mean, just with a thumb stud, there's no flipper at all. So this is the 9011. Really, really like this knife an awful lot. Um, I had the miniature version of this knife as well, still do. Very comfortable in hand, nice and light. Bit of a recurve, love that. Um, 12C27, right? Yeah, 12C27 stainless steel. This one's 12C27 as well. No recurve here. Nice drop point, beautiful blade, and you get some extra tools with it. You know, just like the smaller version of this knife. And the smaller version of this knife I reviewed, you know, a while back, um, two years ago probably. I reviewed so many of San Remus Little Knives. If you're fairly new to my channel and you want me to review some of these small San Remus knives again, well, first, check out my channel. Go look through the links that I have and look for any of the models that you want to and you're going to find I've got reviews of almost all of them like the 7000 series the 6000 series and the 4000 series I've done almost all of their knives that I can possibly get and I've already reviewed them I like the Windrunner designer that they've uh, used with San Ren Mew and uh, those knives that they make are just awesome and uh, really really like them an awful lot now, I got to go back upstairs and get the fixed blades from San Remu that I've reviewed, at least a few that I still have. Okay, I'm back downstairs here. Move these over. Best Tech is the honorable mention. Awesome, awesome knives by Best, Best Tech. Uh, this knife, <laughs> this knife, the Hornet, is coming out soon, the review. Boy, oh boy, there's lots of great knives that came out this year and I've got more best text knives that I'll, I'll be doing here's one of the knives the s611 by San Ren Mew that came out this year beautiful beautiful fixed blade here's a uh, multi-tool kind of knife the s721 and uh, there's a lot more let me get my piece of paper out here are some of the knives that I've not yet seen uh, OAS Knife Spot. I'm working with, uh, I'm starting to working with Knife Spot. I'm an affiliate with them. They've got a lot of great knives by San Ram Yu. And you can check them out. Yes, San Ram Yu is the winner this year. Here's some fixed blades. The 758, 745, 755, 761, 718, 768, 731, 708, 628. Those are all fixed blades that I've not yet reviewed yet from San Remu that came out in 2018, and a number of those are awesome. I did review the S615, S625, 
the S725, the S721, the S611. Great, great knives. So I've got lots of San Remo knives from 2018 to still review in 2019. And I'm very much looking forward to doing that. Yeah, this guy's got a bottle opener back here on the handle. I'm hoping that 2019 is the year where I don't have to sell any knives. I probably will sell some of my knives, but I hope it's the year that I don't have to. Uh, I hope my finances will turn around big time this year, this coming year. So there you go. Uh, San Remo wins. They've got the best budget knives under $50. And most definitely, they've got the best budget knives under $25. And that's of all time. Uh, well, in recent history of this century, San Remo has put out more knives in this century under $25 that are very good quality than any other company that I know of. Uh, you know, like the 7010 and this 8100 series. And, you know, Knives like this one, the 7089, and there's several varieties of the 7089. They even took some numbers and made two different styles using the same number. And there's so many knives like this that are less than $20. You know, they're in the mid-teens. Sometimes you can get them for $12, $13, sometimes under $10 a lot of their knives. So check out San Remo if you've not yet checked them out. Even if you're not a budget knife collector, Budget knives are definitely where it's at in my mind. They are the entry point to knives, but for a lot of us, they're not just the entry point. They are where we're staying. I, I venture to think that if I got a load of money, if I won a lottery, I would still be looking for the best low-cost knives I can find because that's just the way I rock. I want to get the best value for money. Would I buy expensive knives? Of course I would. And I'd buy lots of them, but I'd still also never give up. Always looking for the best deal that I can find. Ah, Bandit came home from his walk. Love that dog. My wife took him out after work. So that's the essence of my video. The best, let me reread it again. The company delivering the best new budget knives in 2018 is... San Ran Mew. Welcome. I mean, congratulations to San Ran Mew. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who's been part of Canadian Cutting Edge. I've got very few videos left coming out in 2018 because, you know, it's, it's what, the 20th right now of December. Christmas Day is coming. On December 30th, it's my wife and my 30th wedding anniversary. And then you've got New Year's Eve, and so there's very little coming out still. I have had a great time, guys. If you want to become a Patreon supporter for $2 or more per month, you can help me out, help out my channel, help me get the stuff that I need to get. A lot of you guys have been helping me to get that cell phone. I lost, well, it got stolen. I left my cell phone at the counter at the hardware store getting some stuff uh, that my wife wanted me to get, and... You know, it's gone, and so I've needed some funds to get a replacement. The camera I'm using right now is on a borrowed cell phone. Uh, so thank you so much for helping me out to, to pay for that new camera, for that cell phone. I've ordered it, but I haven't got enough money for it yet. So uh, if anybody wants to help me out, great. And by the way, if you become a Patreon supporter, then at the end of every month, I put your name in for a draw for one of the best knives that I reviewed that month. I don't give away the cheapest stuff. I give away some of the best stuff that I have. So great chances, 12 chances a year to win a very good knife. That's if you become a Patreon supporter and uh, help me out and become part of that little bit of a community. So thank you everybody for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Remember guys, always cut towards your chum. Not your thumb.